gosh, I want to bring in on the phone now, we have uh, Dave Parkinson. He is the co-founder of the Canadian Coalition Against the Death Penalty, and the group runs the site posting uh, Peterson's statement. Uh, Dave, thank you for being with us today. Uh, Thanks for having me on, Martha. I want to start off by, by just sharing an email with you. This is from Kathy in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She says, no, Canada nor anyone else should be offering a forum for Scott Peterson. There is no forum for Lacey or for Connor. What do you think about that? Well, our organization has uh, over 500 web pages now for people who have been sentenced to death, primarily in the United States, but in several other countries around the world. Uh, recently, there was a, a court challenge by the state of Arizona who tried to suppress the right of prisoners to contact our organization and post their postings on our web page. And we challenged that uh, through the circuit courts. And uh, in the ruling that was in our favor, uh, Judge Earl Carroll of the U.S. District uh, Judge uh, said it would cause irreparable harm to the First Amendment to restrict our rights to post this information on the Internet about these prisoners. And since our organization was founded uh, back in 1998 over the wrongful conviction of Jimmy Dennis in Pennsylvania, uh, we've had about a dozen prisoners who'd written us on death row claiming their innocence who have since been exonerated by DNA and other means. And, uh, you know, uh, as far as we're concerned, this is not just our, our, our right but our responsibility to show right. the faces in the cases of people who the United States government or state courts have deemed worthy of the ultimate sentence. What about the impact on the family? I, I've heard that, that Lacey's family is, is very upset by this, as they are by a lot of the mm -hmm. things that Scott Peterson has had to say. How do you feel about what this does to the families of these murdered people? Well, uh, particularly in the Peterson case, uh, certainly our condolences go out uh, to, to both the Roaches and the extended Peterson family and everyone who has been adversely affected uh, by the death of Lacey and Connor. But uh, we can pretty well reassure uh, everybody involved in this case that we're not going to be parking satellite trucks up and down their street for the next two and a half years, sticking microphones in their face and bothering them in their personal affairs while they're trying to deal with what is a substantial loss. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that this media circus has developed the whole Peterson case. When we have numerous cases on our, on our webpage that get little or no attention, people claiming wrongful conviction, many who have since been exonerated. But Dave, I th I, one of the things I find interesting about what you're doing is, are, are you taking a side? Are you saying, you know, we think these people are wrongly convicted? Or are you just saying, you know, con wrongly or not convicted, we just don't believe that you should put people to death for committing a crime? Well, certainly. We, we, we believe against the death penalty completely. We're completely against the death penalty, and we're merely providing a forum for people who have been sentenced to death to put forward their appellate issues, to put forward personal statements. Uh, many times, unlike the Peterson case, when a person is sentenced to death, they disappear out of the headlines, and no one hears about them uh, again until the, their inevitable execution date. And in many of these cases where there are substantial appellate issues, these people require a form to get that information out to the public or those who may be sympathetic to their cause, and we merely provide a form for them to do that. Right, but while you're giving a voice to some people who may be guilty, who may be innocent, you also end up giving a voice to some who may be guilty. And Certainly, and enough. although we are not uh, taking a side of guilt or innocence in the Peterson case and merely allowing him to speak his mind, he has claimed his innocence since day one and continues to do so with the links he provides on his webpage. But right. as I said, with some of the people that we had webpages for who were exonerated, at least in those cases, um, you know, they had yeah, eyewitness uh, testimony that was wrong, maybe faulty forensics, right, Dave, maybe they had time. a jailhouse snitch. Okay. Uh, they were substantially more guilty than it Dave appears Parkinson, Mr. Peterson was. Thank you very much. Good to have you.